Hello my friends. My name is Muhaimana Samuel. I'm Rwandan by nationality. Uh, today I'm going to teach you how you can uh, schedule the meeting or how you can prepare the meeting by using Microsoft Team app and you share the link to your members you want to talk with. Uh, we are going to use app in your Android phone. So, first you click on your team app. Okay, it is loading. So, you are seeing some icon. You have activity, you have chat, you have team, you have assignment and calendar you click on calendar you see after clicking on calendar there is this this icon calendar plus then you add okay you schedule your meeting so this is the title you add here the title of the meeting you can add for example join Join me. Join me. Join me on right. This is the title of the meeting. Then after, here there is add participant. Your meeting, it can't be schedule it when you don't add any a participant but for example you have to add even only one so you click participant so you add one of your participant you want to be with your meeting or you can click here then you add the name you want for example on measure Homage Donat. I need this one in my meeting. I click Homage Donat. Remember, if you don't put one participant, your meeting can't be set. Okay? So then you click here for adding participant. Okay? This add participant. So, you know, see here, Homage Donat already in my scheduled meeting so here i choose whether my meeting will be every day or my meeting will be only today and then it vanish in my system of microsoft so here i schedule uh, which date and which time i want this meeting to be ready so today we have Friday, July 3rd, 2020. So I click the time for the starting the meeting. Okay. Here I drag. So this is, we have this time right now. So I want drag because I want that my starting point of the meeting is, is, uh, is 8 o'clock p.m. Okay, I scroll like this one. So until uh, 8. So you see here, I click here. Click here so that it can be 8 p.m. o'clock. So I click here, okay. After this starting point, so I need also ending time. So I need that my meeting will be ended by uh, by at least uh, uh, 10 okay example 10 10 30 okay or 10 15 I click here so it is 10 15 p.m. so I click okay so my meeting is ready starting point is 8 o'clock p.m. ending point or ending time is 10 15 p.m. Uh, 
So then here there is a location. If I need a location is when I have uh, several teams. So I need the one chamber of my members to participate in my, in my scheduled team. I can click here. Then I add a C. Lutobwe. You see Lutobwe. You see Lutobwe, for example. I click this one. Okay. So I come here. There is a repeat. If I want that my meeting will repeat, for example, uh, today and tomorrow and after tomorrow, for example, every day within uh, a month, I can click here, repeat. I can choose never or, because if I, I choose the never, it means my meeting will be for today only. If I repeat, uh, I choose every day. It's a, I, I want that uh, my meeting will come always, always. Uh, for example, every week or every week, every month, every year uh, can happen. So me, I choose every day. For example, if I choose every day, okay, I mark that one, all day. So every day here. So then here, there is show us show us there is busy so it means you can't go in a meeting when you are busy okay it means you have to click here so you choose free okay you choose a free because you are free for the meeting so then after uh, there is a description description for example uh, is when you want to to put their calendar okay you can write the agenda agenda of the meeting you write the agenda of the meeting then after writing agenda of the meeting then you click here okay okay after clicking here okay you will see this tick so then after you click for your description for the meeting, you tick. After ticking, uh, our meeting is ended. Scheduling the meeting is ended. So then after, you can click here for ending your scheduled meeting. You see here? Our meeting, if you remember well, our meeting we have called join me online okay join me online you see that today we have the meeting you see tomorrow we have the meeting you see sunday we have the meeting monday also we have the meeting it means all day because we have we have selected every day it means our meeting is there but remember if we want that it comes once today uh, we tick never. It means your meeting will never repeat. So you have only today only because it is scheduled today. You will never see this for tomorrow or next tomorrow. Okay. So next we need how to copy the link of the meeting by using your phone. So you come here. You click here once. You see. After clicking once, you see join. If you want that you join the meeting right now, you can click join and then others can be invited and you start your meeting. Because you want to, to copy the meeting, you come here, share meeting invitee. Or if you need to cancel your meeting, if you prepare it accidentally, you can, you can scroll here. By scrolling like this one, okay, then you click cancel, cancel accuracy. Okay, your meeting will remove the will be removed from the system of Microsoft. No meeting will be there because we need to copy. So you can come here and click on share. 
you see send it to you are seeing that you are going to send it to send it to okay to the dust because uh, this is my my whatsapp okay this is my whatsapp i can select the one person here okay I can select, for example, I can select the Vedasta to keep my link available. Okay. So you see here, you see, join a conversation team Microsoft.com. So I click send. You see that? You see that my meeting is already scheduled. If someone wants to, to join will click on this link of the meeting and be able to talk with me during my meeting. Okay? Thank you very much to attend this session. You can subscribe and click on the link so that you can get my video early. Next time, you will see how to schedule the meeting by, uh, in a Zoom and by using Webex apps, by using also phones, okay? Thank you very much. Goodbye. See you again.